What's up, guys? It's your boy Pete, and welcome back to Planting with Pete. Now, if you're new here, this channel consists of almost everything house plant related. I think it's your fans. Hit the subscribe button. You sit back and you just enjoy this young video. Guys, on today's video, we are going over what's new in the collection. None of these here plants are rare, um, if you are wondering. However, I did want them and definitely wanted them in my collection. Now, what? Um, how I. Whoa, the wind is like up, you guys. I have the door open and it is like colliding with the um, prop that I have it open with. But anyway, um, yeah, I wanted a lot of these here plants in my collection and I'm starting to acquire them and I wanted to share them with you. I also wanted to go over. Um, did I want to show you guys the last? I could technically I can show you guys these since they're already out. Um, this one has rooted my tetra, tetrofro cat, whatever it's called. Yeah, the other two, as you can see, one of them rotted, like that buyer, which is why it's not, she's not, whoever is not down in the description box, was just over it. Um, that's the one that sent the replacement, that died, that sent the replacement, that died. It just, it is just a mess. Um, but, yeah, she's alive, and then also in that order, whoa, they said this one, I definitely don't know the name of this one, um, I do know it's one of the rare cactuses, have the slightest of all clues, um, she's growing, I see new spike thingies, but, yeah, it's growing, the other two didn't make it, well, one of them didn't make it, well, hold on, are they calloused over? No, not calloused over just yet. But this one here, as you can see, some of the black in there, it was like so freaking good at camouflaging itself. But um, it was wrinkled, wrinkly, as you probably can see. I can't really tighten it up. Um, I thought about just laying it on top of the soil. I'm pretty sure that'll work. Um, then the other one has been sitting up here, I think, since yesterday. Um, which sucks. Here it is. It's like the first one you guys remember I showed you. And she sent the replacement, and the replacement just didn't replacement, and it's just not looking good. And this side right here is beginning, ugh, soft. But the rest is firm. And what I hate is that it was growing. I don't know if you guys can probably won't unless I turn up that eye was starting to come out could have been stress related um, flower doubt it because of the size but whatever so what I've been doing they've been sitting right here on this table next to the Hoyas um, I guess trying to callus over I mean I technically I guess I could but I'm gonna give it another day or so to try it again I should just break it off apart to be honest with you um try my chance that way but this is the one that's still going now this is the one that came from georgia that took forever it did like three loops whatever um but yeah um i also acquired this one here we know that it does not it will not more than likely give us um, a variegated, not a variegated, give us any leaves if it don't have stems, but it does have a nice root, root system. I can tell you that. Um, and this is like one of the plants that works on tons and tons of roots before it can start to develop some type of eye or growing point. I don't know how that works. I've seen it, but I don't know. They do have the, I've seen the variegated leaf ones. 
Um, not in my stores, but I have seen them with people. Uh, I would definitely grab one of those. I would de actually I would grab the entire plant, to be honest with you. The variegated one, but we don't see them. Um, what else do I have? Oh, we also have this girl here. If you're not following me on Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, guys, I'll give me a follow. Um, I post a lot of these things on plants on Instagram, um, whether I get them or not. But this is my variegated Maranta. She's looking like freaking awesome. All types of awesome sauce. Um, here she is. There we go. She's gorgeous, right? Found her at Lowe's. Was it in this ugly pot? Yep. It's in this pot right here that my fern came not came in. That I have my fern in. Who is growing? We'll, we'll pull over that to add, you know. But uh oh, look, see, see, y'all, y'all think these look these look floofy things are cute. You think they are cute now? Well, they are cute when they're immature, but mature form. These things are boy. Look at this. See how long these things get? And we're not even gonna talk about the spikes. The spikes are just. <sighs> but um, we did chop them proper. Again, if you've been following me on Instagram, then you've seen how semi-leggy it was. So we did chop and did some propping. Um, there is tons of new growth coming in, as you can see. The thing with these is that they don't have a nice root system. The leaves will come out like uber small, um, like no tomorrow, and that's, it was getting leggy. So we cut them, and I put her in a bigger situation. She was in like one of those four inch, maybe. Um, I did cuttings. And down in here, I think you guys can see a lot of those roots. Yeah, so a lot of these have rooted. Yeah, looking at them now. A lot of these have rooted. So we're going to take some of these out and plant them back in um, to grow them out some more. I could just honestly, whoa, this wind is up. I could honestly just put them in the shop and not worry about it and just work on this one and its root system. However, you know, um, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like eight to nine shoots in here. But variegated Maranta, I had to get it. You know I did, right? So she's sitting up here where you see. Whoa, let me pull her from, which I probably shouldn't because now everything is. It was something like that, right, y'all? Right. As long as it don't fall off, we're fine. So she sits up there with the rest of everybody else. I'm sorry, I have a new leaf on my elbow. She looks like gorge. Um, but yeah, variegated Maranza looks freaking awesome. My other um silver band is everybody is everybody. In. I'm a little worried about the silver band because it's in a spot where I don't necessarily, I can't really get to it. Um, because the cactus is right in front of it on my euphoria um, white ghost ghost white all right next let's start with um oh, I have plants outside not cool um yeah I think I told you guys or I showed you um, that I was going to go nuclear and I decided to use some of this here um I got it from ace when I went to ace just for this, I um, had a coupon. This thing was $10, so, and then luckily my coupon was $10. I just had to buy something else, so I bought the juice, um, to be exact, some apple juice. But anyway, um, I only spent like, how much was the juice? Like a dollar and some change or something. But anyway, um, this is like, it helps you protect your plant. They say up to two months, long lasting, up to eight weeks, you know, for pilot plants and things. Um, the aphid millibug scale thrips is what I really got it for. But what I don't like about this here is that it does not say spider mites. They tripping. Something, you got all the bugs in the world except for spider mites. Yeah, you're straight tripping. But um, yeah, we decided to go nuclear and get it over with. I'm so like tired of like my plants and things getting unnecessary thrips. It is, when I say unnecessary, I mean really unnecessary thrips. Um, spider mites, whatever is whatever. Spider mites, just those strips are just like a pitchfork in my ass. Just, just, just horrible. Um, but yeah, 
it's about gone, but it does say it's aphid scale. We already got prepared for long for our I don't know what the ingredients are, as long as it kills what it needs to kill, you know. So I put it in every single plant that's from out here to inside. So yeah, we're gonna see it say up to two months. I don't know, I feel like it's been two months already because technically I use this to get stop doing that. Beginning of February. Was it round Valentine's ish? Maybe. A little bit after, a little bit before, but whatever. Um, let's go with this here plant. This is, look at it, gorgeous, right? Agalima. Yeah, I told you guys, I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna start it. Um, this one definitely is in need of a up pop situation. Got it on clearance, had to get it. Um, I think this is the red cyan. What I will do, you guys, is try to put the names and things, especially the ones that um, are new. Um, but yeah, I got it. I freaking love it. Um, I, I should have got the ones before. I mean, it's nothing but like more sun, but it was like red, red. And we're talking gorgeous red. I should have grabbed it when I had the chance. But yeah, the red cyan, you guys, wonderful plant. She is spreading. I've been watching this here, new growth. There it is. Growth for the longest. Um, then also been pulling. Now that's a pretty leaf. If they can find a freaking plant that looks like the dead leaf there, the yellowing with the red veining around it, that's gorgeous. That is like freaking gorgeous. That's another one here. That's gorgeous. Sexy gorgeous. It's not even yellow. It's like a whatever's dead. But we got her. You know, she's in the collection now. All right, next plant. I'm trying to go move this on along so we can go eat then then. All right, we have a, so this is next agalima. Yeah, we have another agalima here. Of course, got it on clearance, both of these at the same time. $20 for both. Um, and of course, I did put my granules in there as well. Um, I think this is the pink valentine, the red valentine. Again, I put the names, have the names on the screen for you guys. What I do love about this one, um, I'm pretty sure, of course, this is like light induced, but this is like that red. But when you come over here, that pink, that is like, even if they had an all pink one, I don't know if these are the same plants or not. Let's see. They are. They are on the same uh, vine. I mean, the same stem. But uh, yeah, just gorgeous, y'all. And she's growing. You definitely can tell the new foliage um looks like definitely comes in pink maybe hardens off to the red don't quite know yet but um yeah again clearance had to get it you know what i do love about these here is just the watering habits on them um, i try to keep them moist definitely don't like water water them but i do a little shh, shh, um especially when i'm cleaning off the foliage however um what i would love to do with these these would be like in the area I've been telling you guys that I would like a designated area for like my highlight plants, um, like my cactus and things as such, they can sit in that bright situation and especially these other two. Now one of them, let's grab these in here. One of these you guys, oh don't fall. Oh, I'm so glad there's a top because that would have been four red. All right, so I did end up going to Johnson um, this was inside of that, um, whoa, I'm trying to step over everything. This was inside of that to-do of my February that I did that is just gone out the window. It's okay. Um, but anyway, I went to Johnson's and I only went for this, not this here plant, but I went for a snake plant, which I got on sale, which is okay. Um, it was $3. Oh, yeah, but anyway, I found these. Oh, y'all know I had to get them. Did I need them? No, but I still got them. I still got them. This here was six dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Um, a lot of the foliage has died off, which is like the bigger leaves, which I definitely knew was going to happen. But there's new growth points everywhere, like everywhere, 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 and that's what I really wanted. If you guys can see, and then also, if you don't know by now, Silver Band, Maranta. I love my girl Maranta, right? There's not much I need to say about a Maranta, because you know, I love my girl Maranta. Even if when I start seeing those in the store, <laughs> trust me, I'm going to buy one just because. But I went there for this here, Moonlight Santa Vera. 
like freaking gorgeous, right? I got it on sale, like super cheap, under $5. I think it's like $3. Um, they had a cat. And then the the section that these were in, um, not ladybugs, what are those things called? Ladybugs, crickets or grasshoppers. There's crickets, I thought it was grasshoppers. But anyway, and the cat was trying to, look y'all. But yeah, so we have, try not to hit the camera, we do have some leaf damage, <laughs> fine with me. Um, because most of the time this plant is viewed like this and not from the top. And then also these are older leaves, which I can technically cut off um, or just allow the plant to outgrow itself. But however, there's two plants in here. What I ended up doing uh, when I got it, they bulge. And you know, the growers don't touch all this stuff. It's really not that important, but to me, it was so I went in and I separated them. I doubt that there's any, yeah, very doubtful. Um, I separated them and took the bulge out just to make sure it looks a lot more appetizing. Rather, but I definitely wanted one of these. These have been like on my wish list for a very long time. I knew I wasn't going to order it offline, I just had to wait to find And these are very elusive, very, very elusive. I think you can find the Ventel Sensation, maybe not here. Um, but it's here, yeah, not here with these either. But in this area, these are hard to find, even like at the big box stores. But uh, yeah, she's in this little thingy thingy. Remember these? These used to sit in here until I realized that they can't take as much humidity and then they start to mold around the bottom. Uh, now, this one here is an honorable mention. I did a whole spill on this one. Maybe someone could tell me what type of Santavera this is. I wasn't going to keep it. Um, I really was not. I don't think I am, to be honest with you. Just looking at it. Um, we're going to give this here plant away. Maybe it's someone in the family. Um, because I did, when I went up, but he gave it to me for free, y'all. You know, free plant is a free plant. So, um, it was bare root. Literally went back there and cut it off. The mother plant. So, um, she should be fairly rooted. To be, yeah, she's in there. Fairly rooted. It's been at least a month again. Um, but, yeah, let me know what type of sense of air this is. She sits next to the TV which I have to move this here in moonlight as well. So the moonlight needs more light than this one, I would presume. But it's just a filler, you know? Um, and I think that is honestly it. Yeah. I think that's honestly it. Um, I did know I wanted to go back to Lowe's. I went to Lowe's yesterday. They have some nice some nice string of turtles. They have some Lacanosa. Uh, I don't know if that's Splash or Silvers. Um, it's just a lot of goodness going on there that I definitely should have been a part of but guys um, we're gonna call it how long have I, I've been talking yeah way long enough we're gonna call it now um, all these here like I said it's been a month so all these here plants have been clean brushed down sprayed whatever the case may be in their semi permanent homes um, or at least in the vicinity of a semi permanent home all these that I mentioned except for the cactus and the variegated maranta are out here. The other, what is it, four? Other five are in the inside, um, including the silver band maranta. I have a whole setup in the inside for you guys if you're interested. Um, just go to my playlist and type in Aeroid Wall, search Aeroid Wall, um, Grow Wall. Whatever the case will be, you'll see where all these here lie. Um, like I said, I also need to do a tour in there as well. So. Um, again, I'm trying to figure some things out. Like, I just got this shelf. If you've been following me, I think the last video or whatever video it was, I'm working on um, foliage that I want to, um, one, to grow better, get larger, um, and just watch grow. Um, give them a little bit more light. So we're moving them up closer to the spider farmer shelf. You guys will see it. Maybe next video or video after that, I'll do an update on what's going on there and go from there but guys that is it here for today's video again <coughs> excuse me simple plants nothing like extremely rare except for those tetrasperma alabama cactuses which is it's like strange really really strange there's like what i don't like is when you get like an offset or a semi-sick plant and then it, it makes you it questions it makes you question yourself like what are you doing as a plant parent very strange when it's like a lot of other plants when i know for a fact i know what i'm doing 
something just don't ain't it's not sitting right with me but um yeah make sure you like comment share and subscribe um if you like to support the channel all those things down in the description box below super thanks works as well two two dollars three out of four out of twelve six hundred however you're feeling um if you can't do that you guys watching the video uh Watching the video and hit the like button definitely works as well. Get us out in the community and get us a little bit more wheat straws up on our belt, you know? Um, and that is it. Yeah. Let me know all the plants that you've seen. Especially these here agarlim. The thing about agarlim is like they need light. They need some good light. I know that. And they definitely don't like to be overwatered. So that is why I'm really trying to um, come up with a space or area. Maybe not out here. Um, out here is a little bit too dedicated so that's why they're in there and I can figure something out like some lights with some arms on it a table stand we'll figure out you guys like comment share and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one bye